Hi, I'm Melissa Tan. I'm an art practitioner based in Singapore. I've always been interested in how tactile uh, different materials can be, especially for man-made objects as well. Um, things that we use for building uh, in our daily life, like for your kitchen cabinet, kitchen counter, your flooring. So all that I feel is quite interesting to me. How I started working on this particular interest is uh, possibly a residency I did before. And for that particular body of work, I've used um, I photographed the pavements at, at different points and created a sound, a sound score and it fed through a music box and it was able to play um, sound, ab abstract sounds of the ground. Yeah. So that was, I guess, how it started. I'm Faris Nakamura. My work centres on the study of space. What I find interesting about spaces like, for example, stairwells um, is definitely one of the places that I, I frequent is that there is this negative uh, connotation to it. Um, like many aunties and uncles would think maybe we are using those spaces for whatever negative reasons, right? And I find that very interesting because sometimes, for me especially, um, not having my own space, my own room, this is definitely a space where I used to just embrace someone, maybe a lover, a little bit longer. So this space is really important for us. And I would really want to hope that this negative uh, connotation is removed because sometimes this space are uh, simply safe spaces for us, spaces where we embrace each other. I feel that having a studio space, it gives me a lot of freedom to make a mess because things that I can't normally do at home. So I can create large, large pieces, I can uh, use chemicals and, and all that. So it really gives me a lot of freedom. My most frequent use areas of the studio, I think it will be the floor, definitely. I move from part to part. Uh, as you can see, it is very messy. Uh, but that's normally how I work. So I normally put um, a plastic sheet on the floor. I prefer working on the floor than compare it to the table. This studio means a lot to me because as I've shared earlier, I don't have uh, my own space, my own room. So this is where I am at the most. My family, my friends know this is where I'm at the most um, because this is where I do everything. Um, this is where I write, I draw, I sketch, I measure, I make especially and sometimes procrastinate as well. Uh, but being in the studio, it gives me this undescribable creative energy um, to create and to continue to create. So I have many different interests. So currently, I'm interested in Singapore landscape and how it has evolved over the years, uh, especially the roads and highways, how they have morphed and changed over time. I have two separate bodies of work that I did last year. Um, so one was the Mini Mobile Museum and it's featured at the Jurong Library now. Yeah. So the next um, edition would be in Tampines. So for the Tampanese edition, it will have three sculptures uh, together. So for that particular piece, it was about uh, the using a 1958 map, the topography of Singapore, and how it has evolved over time. This is um, Tampanese. Actually, this is this is Tampanese, and this is a little bit more than that. Uh, so for this particular work, it's meant to hook onto the main sculpture like that. Yeah, so it's meant to hook, um, but how I'd like to present it would be on top of this piece of uh, farm material. So I would balance it that way yeah, and present it that way. I quite like that component where you can add on and hook on another part of the sculpture. So for the other body of work, it is um, the body of work is titled Under the Arch Sky but they have individual names of the specific asteroid that I am interested in. So what I do is that I map the position of where they are in the sky uh, at that point in time. So it was 2019. So from where they are, I'm able to create an abstract map of uh, 
the, where they are, uh, which point in the sky, and which constellation they are the nearest to. So I try to uh, hide that inside the work. So that particular uh, body of work is made of metal and resin. So the titles of my works have um, always evoked a sense of yearning, hope, um, but at the same time, loneliness. So some of the examples of um, titles of my past works are Let There Be Space For Us In This Unlikely Place and another one was Amidst The Silence Unquietly We Frolic. So there is this sense of hope but at the same time a hint of struggle as well and that reflects um, the stories that I would want to tell, the relationship that I have and uh, other people's relationship that they have with the spaces around us. Um, for the materials, my works are primarily made out of wood because wood is organic and to me that symbolizes impermanence and that reflects the ever-changing architecture and landscape in Singapore. In some instance, I use metal and for me, um, that is a way to monumentalize buildings or structures that I've grown attached to but have since been um, demolished. I wanted people to experience these spaces for themselves. So in some way, it is a reenactment of the joy of discovering spaces. And sometimes not only joy, but also the struggle that people have with spaces, especially here in Singapore with um, the limited space that we have around us. And also, even if there's a space around us, who gets to use this space and how do we get to use this space? So with my sculptural works, they may appear minimalistic. You can't quite see the spaces that I would want to depict, but you'd have to be in front of the work, maybe tiptoe, um, press your head against the wall a little bit just to discover that little bit of space. So for 2021, I am looking forward to a solo exhibition at the end of the year. Um, that would be the body of work under the arch sky. So I'm hoping to expand on that particular uh, series. Okay, so what's next in 2021? Well, we're in 2021 already. Um, it's the installation that I'm going to have um, at Facebook, HQ. That is going to be really interesting because uh, this will be the next time I get to see the space that I was supposed to be working in uh, because due to COVID-19, uh, it has been pretty strict uh, in who gets to go in and see the space. So I'm really excited to see the works that you see here um, installed uh, in Facebook. I'm also um, preparing for a solo um, sometime in August and I'm very excited about this because this is going to be the first ever solo that I'm going to have overseas. Uh, it's going to be in KL and um, it is going to be very different from the works that I've done previously because uh, it will be a survey on Malaysia's architecture instead. <laughs>